Вы не привитаете. Знаете, что означает хиба? Имя. Хиба означает благодать. Слава Богу. Мы с этой знаем познаем. Okay. Um, you guys want to learn a word? Uh, an Arabic word? I learned an Arabic word. And it's, and it, and it's uh, Zbogia. You want to know how it is? Yalla. Yalla. No? Yalla. Yalla. Huh? Yalla. It's a bunch of Okay. Yalla. 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 Okay, let's turn in our Bibles to Psalm 32. You know what's wonderful about conferences? Uh, we come with a lot of burdens. Sometimes problems. And God gives us wisdom to resolve these. And from God's viewpoint, so pray for us as leaders to have wisdom from God to, to resolve questions. Amen. Amen. So last last session we just Я перепрошую, може хтось перекладати на російську для арабів? Ми домовлялися. Ну вони нічого не хіба нічого не I'll speak Arabic, okay? Вони ще вчора сказали, що ми розуміємо. Арабу розуміють українську англійську. Дякую Богу. Чуєте, буде на арабській, буде на українську перекладати. All right. All right. The last session we spoke about um, the way the devil wears down the believer. And when the devil wears down the believer, uh, the devil can lead a believer into deception. And we see the result that they were separated from God. So it's not God's will for you and I to live in discouragement. Uh, if we live in discouragement for a long period of time, uh, we can become bitter. And this is what happened with Esau. Esau developed the root of bitterness because he did not know how to encourage himself in the grace of God. So I want to talk about that now. Shortly, because uh, I think we're all very hungry. I'm hungry. Pastor Misha wants to go to KFC, but Pastor Misha KFC wants to pizza. We're all going to go to Puzato Hato. He's going to be by himself at KFC. We're going to go to Puzato Hato. He's going to be by himself at KFC. KFC fried chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just stop the joking now and we have so many cameras here. I feel like I'm in London. Psalm 32, verse 1. Do Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Блаженний, кому подарований злочин, кому гріх закритий. And now let's go to Psalm 13. І переходимо зразу до 13-го псалма. And we'll see how David encouraged himself. І подивимося, як Давид себе заохочує. When we are discouraged, we cast away our confidence. Uh, Hebrews 10, verse 35. And I remember when I moved to Ukraine, there were many discouraging factors. And I remember having a picture Я пам'ятаю, як мене була така світлина, that I had taken, яку я зробив. Of everybody, всі там на ній. And Albina was in that picture. Albina, Albina. That's when we went to Moscow. Remember, with all the poles. Коли ми з усіма поляками їздили, and we were all on the platform, and there was all these Ukrainians there. Ми там всі на залізничній платформі, всі українці. And I wasn't living in Lviv yet. І я ще у Львові не не жив. And I had that picture. And uh, I put on the bottom of the picture Hebrews 10 verse 35. Cast not away your confidence for it has great recompense of reward. And I looked at these faces and I thought that's the reward. That's the, that's the reward right there. And when I looked at the picture, I was encouraged. And when we are encouraged, we have a capacity to think in faith. When we're discouraged, we have zero capacity. Very little capacity. And even the simplest thing is very hard. And so the key really is to encourage ourselves in the Lord. And David had a crisis in Psalm 13. And David was living in his emotions. And he was talking about this. He said, Lord, how long will you forget me? І каже, Господи, доки будеш мене забувати? Forever? Назавжди? How long will you hide your face from me? Доки будеш ховати від мене обличчя своє? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Як довго я буду складати поради в своїй болі? В моїй душі? Yeah, I don't know how is it bola and Yeah, like so David in Psalm 13 Давид в 13-му псалмі він не отримував духовної поради про ці обставини, в яких він був в душі своїй, пораджений власній душі своїй. І він жив в своєму болі. Християнство не життя with God without pain. Uh, pain is really a part of humanity. And we have a very big capacity for pain. Uh, pain is really a part of our life. As a Christian, we are no different from the world because we also experience pain. The difference is, is we know what to do with it. David here was living in his soulish feelings. And that is very easy to do for us, isn't it? For us to be pulled down. David needed to be encouraged. 
Because when we're encouraged, God is lifting us up. Uh, and this is what's happening today. This is God is lifting us up. This is what happens when we meet. To, this is what happens when we meet together to hear the word of God. That we get, we get built up. David said here in verse three. <coughs> Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Uh, enlighten my eyes. And this is the first thing that David does to encourage himself is to ask God to open his eyes. This is step number one. Very simple. God, just open my eyes to your grace lest I sleep in the sleep of death. We need to ask God to open our eyes. As it says in Ephesians chapter 1, that God would give us the spirit of enlightenment that we would see the hope of our calling. That we would see the wonders of His grace. Because when we, God opens our eyes, we wake up. In verse 5, I have trusted in your mercy. You know, mercy means that I'm not getting what I deserve. And we live in a world where everybody gets what they deserve. Work hard, you deserve money. Don't work hard, you don't deserve money. Do this, you deserve that. Do this, don't do this, and you don't deserve God gave David what he did not what, what he did what he, God gave, did not give David what he deserved. And this is the second thing that encouraged David. That mercy mercy means that God does not want to give us what we really deserve. What do we really deserve? Uh, hell <laughs> Somebody said to me the other day, uh, you know, I'm not getting what I deserve. I deserve more. And I said, well, one thing for sure that you deserve. I said, what's that? I said, the flames of hell. That's what we all deserve. But we don't get that because of the mercy of God. And in verse 5, the second part, David starts to say, he says, that his heart began to rejoice. Because of the salvation of the Lord. And when we read that word salvation, we have to think of this word finished work. In Psalm 32, verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who does not get what he deserves. So we don't cast away our confidence. Another beautiful set of... And then in verse 6 he begins to sing. I will sing to the Lord. Because he has dealt bountifully with me. I think another beautiful set of verses in Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Uh, and it says in verses 2 through 5 uh, there's God's five point program to build up David we read in these verses number one God forgives all of our iniquity iniquity 
Bezakonia means sin in the mind. You know, maybe we don't speak our anger. But it's in our minds. You know? We're sinning against God. In our mind. I, I don't know if have you ever done that? We have all sinned in our minds. God forgives that. We and, and that's the first step it's a partial crook of being delivered from discouragement when I'm discouraged it's easy for me to begin to sin against God in my mind now, if you have not noticed you will get offended and your church may offend you Ваша церква может вас образить. Християни можуть вас образити. Pastor Chris may offend you. Pastor Chris може вас образити. We are going to experience being offended sometimes. Ми будемо пересвідчувати образ. Because we live часом in a world of fallen personalities. А падших особистостей. How we deal with a being offended is the most important thing. І що те, що ми робимо в стані ображеності, це найважливіша річ. Because I think that when we come into the church, uh, we forget that we're all saved by grace. And then if we do, if we do not live, if we live in discouragement, we can become bitter. And when we become bitter, it, we become toxic. Toxic people. You know, there's a lot of things in our life that we can get very offended about. Very... But I like to think this way. That, that in the center of my garden is not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's not about what people are doing bad or what people are doing good. Uh, center of my garden is the tree of life. That's what I want to focus on. You know, and that's, what's the tree of life? It's this right here, right? That's the tree of life, the cross. That's where everything is crucified. Everything is buried. Everything is healed. And that's what I want to have in the center of my life as a Christian. This is the only way that we're going to finish our course with joy. You know, in John chapter 6, here's Jesus in the flesh. Walking on the earth. Imagine that. God in the flesh. And what happens? John 6. People get offended. People are going to get offended no matter who or what is happening. Sometimes we say, well, if my situation in my church was different, I would not be offended. No, I, we, would all, we would all be offended. What was the answer that Peter had? I like the, for Peter, he had the tree of life as the center of his. He was offended, yes. But, Jesus, but he said, only you have the words of life. And so this is how we get out of our discouragement. Number one, we understand that God forgives all of my mental attitudes. Number two, uh, he heals our diseases. This is Psalm 103. Uh, verse 3. And what that means is, is that when we become toxic, um, we need to be healed. Нам потрібно бути отримати зцілення. We need to be healed from bitterness. Зцілення від гірлоти. Зцілення від злості. Healed from all the things that can cause disease in my soul. Зцілення від всього, що може спричинити хвороби і патології в моїй душі. You know what Paul said? He said, I want to finish my course with joy. Павло сказав, я хочу закінчити свій шлях з радістю. 
I always wondered about that verse. Yeah, I was little more from the I thought, wow, it seems like it's such a low, like a low goal. You know, I just want to finish my life and be happy. You know, maybe some of us ambitious people would say, I want to finish my life and plant a hundred churches. Win a thousand people to Christ. Have a million dollars. Whatever. But his goal was that he would not finish his Christianity with a spirit of bitterness. Because that's what the devil would like to do. He would like to beguile our simplicity. I, I just want to speak, and I'm just going to finish now. Um, I, the, the key for us is to escape being discouraged is really, as it says here in verse, uh, verse 5, verse 4 and 5, is really look at the loving kindness of God, the grace of God. And look at how God has blessed us. Because when the church is encouraged and built up in Acts 9 verse 31, it begins to bear fruit. As a pastor, I want to run my church so that people are encouraged, edified. I want my administration, the, the organization of my church. Uh, I want to be, have order. Uh, what is the vision? You know, what is the direction? And, if, and, I, and I as a pastor need to be sensitive to uh, the sheep and lead the sheep. Because in Acts 9, verse 31, when the church is edified, there is the proper fear of the Lord. And we were talking last night about the fear of the Lord. And I found this verse, and I was thinking about our conversation last night. That when we are encouraged, when we are built up, we properly fear the Lord. Acts 9, verse 31. So four practical things about how to build ourselves up. And then we'll go and build our stomachs up at Zatahata. Uh, number one, there needs to be a point in your day. Every day, when you are alone with your Bible, and that the Bible to feed your needs. Uh, I know it, some of it is difficult. Because we're busy. Sometimes our, many, you know, our kids can wake us up before we even wake up. And it's like no opportunity for me to open my Bible. Uh, maybe for me at that point then at night I have to wait. When my wife, when I see my wife alone reading her Bible, uh, I try to not, I don't bother her, and I try to orchestrate things in the house so that she can have her time alone. So that, so that she can have her hour by herself. Because if we don't, if, we, if there's not a point in my day, then I'm, I'm living my day in the energy of the flesh. It's, in, in a family, this is very important, that in a family, that our family is not a child-centric family. Uh, uh, 
Okay? And it's very easy to do that. Because the needs of our children. And I don't, I, I don't have children myself. And I don't say that because I don't have children. But I say that because someone else said that to me. Our family needs to be Christ-centric. And, and, and sometimes it doesn't feel natural. We have to have a time when we're alone with our Bible. Але нам потрібен цей час на одинці з нашими Біблією. Number two. Другий. Uh, learn how to develop your discernment. Навчиться як розвивати власне розрізнення. To so that you can discern the wearing down process. Щоб ви могли помічати цей процес змучення. You know, just learn how to discern that. Навчиться оце помічати. Like, oh, okay, that's the devil trying oh. to discern. To wear me down. You know, if you're married, uh, uh, tell your husband, honey, uh, this is wearing me down. I need, can you please uh, you know, help cover me in this situation? Uh, if you're a husband, uh, then learn how to discern what just wears you down. And as a wife, uh, let's be sensitive to uh, uh, learning how to encourage and build up our husbands. Um, number three. This is the third thing. I know I'm going fast, but I want to finish here. Remember that you are the head and not the tail. In Kiev. You guys are the head here. You guys are running the city. That's the way we got to think, right? You're the head here. You're not some poor little group of people. You know, like, and sometimes it, you know, it's such a big city. It's dark. Loud. Yeah. 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 You know, and it's like, and then we could feel like oh, I'm just this little, little pastor Roman. You know, and it's like, no, we are, we are the head. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. Think that way in the details of your life. Думайте так і в стосунку до обставини деталей вашого життя. Rule your life. Керуйте власним життям. Don't let your life rule you. Пануйте над вашим життям, не дозвольте йому панувати над вами. Wow, he's giving some great accent here. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Romans chapter five. Римлян п'яте розділ. I love this verse. Я люблю цей вірш. That we rule in this life. Що ми пануємо в цьому житті. Through grace Через and righteousness. Who's running your life today? Who is running your life today? Is it detail centric? Detail uh, centric. Pain centric. Ball uh, centric. The tree of knowledge of good and evil centric. The tree of knowledge of good and evil centric. Personal personality centric. Osobistis uh, centric. Politically centric. Politica centric. Right now in the United States we have this crazy situation. Zaraz v štátach nás se šlo. It's just this obsession with terrorism. Ah, to taka održimis terorizmu. And it's like okay, okay, just. Stop talking about that. Let's, let's talk about missions. Let's talk about the love of God. Because so many Christians are now afraid. You know, you know, of the Muslims. Muslims. It's like, okay, no, let's fear God. You know? And then we're not going to fear people. Because we are not living in a fear-centric. We want to live.